It's going to be a lesson to show you how you can use sort and randomize the order of the items of the array and outputting it onto the page. So this is the array that we're going to be using and using the array sort method in order to sort the array items in place and then applying the math random as the options within the sort parameters in order to randomize the order. So when we click it, these are the items within the array and they're going to be taking a random randomized order as we click it. So that's being done with the event listener on the selected element and we're running the sort with the math random and then outputting the result into the inner HTML of the output element. Set up an index file and link it to the JavaScript and within the JavaScript we're going to first create an array and this array is what we're going to be sorting randomly using the array sort method. So this array can contain any number of items and we're going to add in just some items here within the array that we can do a sort on the contents of them and they can be different data types as well and let's just add one more so it can be any collection of items within the array we're going to be using the array prototype sort in order to do a sorting of the array so basically this allows us to sort elements of an array in place and what means in place so it updates the sort order of the items in the array so if we output the current listing of the items and this is going to affect the index values of those items and then we run the array sort and output again into the console the array contents the, we're going to see that the array values have changed in order. And this is also going to be affecting the index value. So if we're selecting the item with an index value of 2 and we do a sort, it sorts it in place. So it's no longer going to be referring to that same item within the index. So what we want to do with sort, we've got some options that we can add to the sort. So the sort will sort it in place and for the sort we've got some parameters and these are optional so you don't need to use them if you're just sorting them within the default order but if you want to randomize the order or customize the sort order of the content that gets returned you can add in the first element and the second element where you can do a comparison function for those elements. So when we do the comparison function they've got the sort order here if the first element is greater than zero and the we the compare function returns a result of greater than zero then the sort b will be before a and if it's less than zero the sort a will be before b and if it's equal to zero then the keep the original order so we'll run a function to do a compare comparing to see if a and b where we've got a comparison of the numbers and then when we apply the return of the sort and we return a minus b it's going to affect that order for the sort so let's try it out within our code where we're going to be applying the sort and adding in the sort comparison of the numbers so we've got our array and this is again sorting in place running the sort method and this within the sort method we've got a value of a and b returning back the value of a and b and using the return keyword we're going to do a minus b and we'll see how that affects the sort order so within the console log let's output the results for array and that gives us this type of sort order which is the descending order of the items and I'll get rid of those index values so we can see that sort order is actually going to be just the default sort where we're doing a minus b so depending on what we're returning back whether the value is greater than or less than zero it'll affect the value that we're sorting here and this is where we've got the comparison function and how it's affecting the return sort order so let's add in a random value of anywhere from negative 0.5 to plus 0.5 and then we're going to return that instead so selecting the sort of the elements 
and then do a return using the math random. And if we do the math random minus 0 0.5, we know that math random can be up to almost 1 and also going to, to, to 0. So if we subtract negative 5, the result here will be either a negative or a positive. We can also set up a variable in order to create that value so that we can take a closer look at it within the console as we're updating the sort order. So this is going to be the result of val, and then we want to return val back into the sort order. So that gives us random numbers, and so some are negative and some are positive. So depending on where they fall, they're going to be affecting that sort order of the array. So it's no longer within the set order. This has actually randomized the array contents. And once again, it's sorting it in place. So when we run it again, now we're going to have a different sort order for the items of the array. So we can actually shorten this statement. And let's do one more where we're going to take the sort and using the newer arrow format where it automatically is going to return, we can type in math random minus 0, 05, and this will randomize our array. And I'll remove out, and let's uh, create a loop. So let x equals 0, run by x is less than 10, and then increment x by 1. And we'll constantly sort the array in place, and then once it's been sorted, we'll output into the console the new array order. So when we run it 10 times, we see that we're randomizing the items within the array. So it's not going to always be the same item. And if we are inputting or outputting the first item, we could have any variation of items. And this is all done randomly. So this type of sorting is ideal for smaller arrays. It's not going to be good for very large arrays. Uh, but if you do have an array with a limited number of items within the array, uh, this is a great way to create a sort of the array content and to randomize the uh, array item order. So let's select the element. So we'll finish this off and we'll select the main element from the page using the query selector, selecting the element with a class of output. And for output, we'll add an event listener and the event is going to be the click. And then whenever it gets clicked, we're going to update the sort order of the content. So just a quick randomizing of the array items. And then also we're going to take output in our HTML and output the result of array and then do a join of the items in the array so that we get that new ordered item list being output. And for output to start off in our HTML, we can actually set this up in a function where we can sort the array contents and run this as a function and also do that when the page loads so that we get the items in the array and then as it gets clicked, it'll change the order of the items in the array. So every time it's clicked, it's running the sort function and outputting that new list of new ordered list randomized from the array.